Greetings Sim Captains and welcome back to the Flight Brothers. Today we're going to try something fun and challenging called the Combat or Corkscrew Landing. This is not a tutorial, it's just something I really wanted to try. Welcome to Flight Brothers FT, produced by Tim and Lee. Plan the flight and fly the plan. All charts courtesy of Navigraph Charts, not to be used for real world navigation. Be sure to subscribe and explore the rest of the channel for high quality aviation content and entertainment. Alright, just to get your bearings here, we are currently flying the Laminar Default C-130 with a Freeware 3D Cockpit upgrade. We've got a whole video on how to operate this ship if you want to see that, the link will be popping up. Our destination today is Kabul's Hamid Karzai International Airport with the, um, oh I always say this wrong, IKO code OAKB. We're setting up our approach today for runway 29 and we'll be using our trusty Navigraph charts which again are a payware subscription and thank you to Navigraph for allowing us to display it. You can get away without using these, uh, particularly since most of the information on the chart we will be ignoring. We do need that landing elevation, which you'll see is about 5,900 feet. We can get that, you'll see here at the threshold on the airport chart. Runway elevation is also listed on that approach plate. So we are currently flying about 12,000 feet. I say about because I'm hand flying, so there's a little more fluctuation than usual. And we're mostly going to be ignoring this approach profile, uh, your typical three, three-ish degrees. And we're going to try and get inside the airport perimeter and then corkscrew down to the runway in one hopefully continuous turn. We'll see how closely I manage to get that. You can see right now we are paralleling that approach. I'm actually sort of in the missed approach. Uh, go around pattern and we'll start turning in to pick up those uh, initial approach waypoints. The YouTube is full of fantastic and real footage of similar landings and you will notice a slight difference between videos labeled uh, assault landings and combat or corkscrew landings. It seems the combat ones are the corkscrew that we are attempting today and the assault landings tend to be more of a very short field landing. So here we go, we can monitor our arrival, we're coming up on that first waypoint so we're going to need to turn in here not very far left to go to the airport and as you can see we've maintained altitude. I have my heading set so that the heading bug will always show us the runway's heading which is 284 degrees for runway 29. Now as I watched internet footage of real approaches usually we were looking out the window and could not actually see the uh, instrumentation to know exactly what sort of vertical speed and bank angle we were at but you can tell the uh, bank angle tends to be extremely steep although uh, it appeared from most that I was seeing it's usually about two turns and that's what we're gonna come out to today is two full loops down to the runway can see now it's showing us as one mile out and so let's try and take a peek out the window and see if we can get our bearings visually and there you go the airport is directly beneath us so now we are going to begin our turn all right we're going to idle the throttles maybe extend a notch or so of flaps we can also stick the gear out. Uh, I'm going to be turning on the landing light, although I don't know that increased visibility is really something we want. And this is the first time I'm attempting this approach, so I don't really have more than a ballpark sense of what I want for a vertical speed. So we're just going to be eyeballing it for the moment. Again, you can watch that heading bug for reference as to the runway beneath us. 
If it hasn't already occurred to you, the reason we're flying a corkscrew is to avoid small arms fire, uh, very specifically things like the Soviet RPG-7, which uh, the internet tells me has an effective range of about 300 meters against a moving target, which would be about a uh, thousand feet above the deck. And again, uh, Kabul's runway elevation is about 5,900 feet. So that would put us within range as soon as we're down to about 6,900 feet. Again, we're doing this completely visual here, just eyeballing it. You can see there's the runway. So far, I'm uh, fairly pleased with this. It looks like we're obviously going to need to make one more circle to bleed off the remaining altitude. And it looks like we have the altitude to do that. Now we're getting a little wide there. Hopefully we'll come back a little, uh, a little tighter. So we'll try and slow it down as we go for this last loop. That's funny, look at that one little cloud hanging out over the ramp. How bizarre. All right, now that we're getting low and slow, just going to monitor that airspeed, make sure we don't uh, stall ourselves out here, but looking pretty good at the moment. All right, we're getting pretty close to the ground, and as you can imagine, oh, that's quite a bank angle. Uh, you know, certainly small arms could take a shot at you, but uh, trying to kind of lead the target and predict exactly where you will be by the time their weapon would intercept would be substantially harder. Speaking of harder, we are very low. Let's pick up that runway. There it is. So much for stable approaches here, right? Ooh. Now again, this is not a tutorial. This is me, Flight Brother Tim, screwing around. And uh, let's, ooh, ooh, that could be bad. Watch for the wing. Oh, maybe we saved it, all right. And we're down. Welcome to Kabul. And I suspect maintenance will need to uh, pay a visit to this aircraft. That wasn't particularly pretty. But again, thank you for joining me today just for a quick little fun one. An attempt at the combat corkscrew landing here into Kabul. And uh, if you go and try it, I'd love to know how it went for you. If you've got more information than I do if there's a specific uh, speed and vertical descent rate that's typical for this or if it really is just flown as an eyeballed approach I'd love to hear it so go ahead and stick it in the comments so once again this is the flight brothers and uh, even though it's not tremendously what you saw today remember plan the flight and fly the plan If you enjoy this content, consider buying us a coffee to show your support. Visit us at buymeacoffee.com slash flightbrosft or search for us from the menu if you'd like to contribute. A link will be provided in the video description below.